Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today I am here with another budget grocery haul. i um, kind of showing you guys my process for this week. I went to three stores again, the same ones as last week. I went to Kroger, I went to Walmart, and I went to Respects, which is a local grocery store. And so kind of my strategy without going too into it like I did last week is I am basically cherry picking all the best deals. So kind of shopping the lost leader deals at the stores for that week. So I get Respects pretty much. I just did the sales for the most part. A couple of things were just cheaper there, but mostly I just did the sales. Lost leaders grab the best deals at that store. If I would have bought everything at their store, it would have been through the roof expensive. And that's kind of how the same is with Walmart and Kroger. If I just went in there and bought absolutely everything, I really wouldn't be getting the best deal because some things are cheaper at other stores. And so I shop the sales. I price compared using the store's websites. So Walmart, Kroger, and Respects all have websites with grocery pickup services. So they tell you the prices of the items on their site. You can totally do that. And you can price compare that way, which is amazing. Then, um, also, I shopped out of our home pantry, what we already have, trying to make meals off of those things. So, that's a huge saving tip as well, because you want to use what you have. So, basically, what we are making this week is we are making breakfast for dinner, just pancakes, um, sausage, as you can see here, and eggs, and some fruit. We're also going to make chicken stuffing casserole, which is really good. Um, literally have all the ingredients for that, so that's perfect. Going to make um, chicken gnocchi crockpot soup. Super excited for that. We're going to make spaghetti and um, spaghetti garlic bread and salad one night. We're also going to have um, a sausage sheet pan recipe that my friend sent me. Um, it's a sausage vegetable sheet pan, so I'm really excited. So those are the meals that we are coming up with for this week. I will say this is not the groceries for our entire family necessarily. My mom still goes and does like bigger stock up trips every couple of weeks or whatever, getting, you know, lunch staples and things like that, just staples, things that we got to have. But I've been trying to fill in and grab our meals on a budget. Around $100 a week is ideally what I want to do. So I like to get the things we need for dinners, our produce and things like that. And I also, if I have extra, you know, I'll splurge and do the stock up deals, which I've done some today. So I'm super excited for this and let's just start right in. So we're going to start with Kroger. At Kroger, got some green beans. These were $3.99. Um, celery for $3.29. We got an onion here. This was like 80-something cents. We got a red bell pepper for $1.79. We do try to get organic produce as much as possible just because not really having pesticides on it. So we got some zucchini and yellow squash. Love that stuff so much. I'll even eat that like on its own with the Morton seasonal salt. That stuff's amazing. Um, got some bananas at Kroger. Those were, I don't even know, but I'll tell you guys the prices for the rest of the stuff. Got the Oscar Mayer natural sausage. This was $3.50. That's something prices have definitely gone up, but we try to get meat with no, um, no antibiotics or preservatives or anything. So this fit the bill. We also got three of the Morningstar meatless products. My family really does enjoy these. Actually, my mom and my grandma are both vegetarian. And so growing up all my life, I still eat meat, but I really do enjoy the Morningstar stuff. And so we're, make, we're like making a meal we all want to eat together or whatever. Try to get Morningstar. And I've even learned, like I said, I like these, you know, in place of meat sometimes. So the sausage patties, the chicken patties are awesome. And the grillers, these are actually on sale at Kroger. If you buy three, they're 10 bucks. And I bought it has 50 cents back, making them like eight fifty for all three, which is a really good price because these are over $4 now. So that was good. Also got some lettuce, which was two for six, the 50-50 blend, and the romaine hearts. We're gonna also use the spinach in the um, chicken gnocchi soup. So kind of, you know, getting both of those knocked out there, just salads on the side and for the gnocchi soup. Got some red potatoes. We also got these Power Crunch bars. These are a really good deal. They are $1.25, but if you buy two, you get one free. So it's like two fifty dollars for three of them, which is a really good deal. So I got six of those. I also got five of the Quaker Oatmeals. These are $1.27 with the digital coupon. And I also got five of the Post Cereals. These are $1.27 with the digital coupon. So Kroger was pretty awesome. At Kroger, I spent, we spent a grand total of $46.57. And for getting all of our produce and most of our meat as well for the week, that was really good. A lot of the other meat, like chicken and things, we already had on hand from when my mom stocked up. So we really didn't have to buy that this week, which was great. Okay, also went to Walmart. My philosophy is if it's not on sale at Kroger or at Respects, I can get it at Walmart. And that's probably the best place to get it with their everyday low prices. So got some of the organic cheese for 237 
got the great value cottage cheese this is actually like my favorite cottage cheese and it's the cheapest so it's a dollar 76 that's a big old thing i'm happy with that i did splurge and i got some of the cookie dough cafe um cookie dough i used to get this at sam's club but they're pretty hit or miss if they actually have it so i got it at walmart this is like 546 but it comes with four cups and i only eat half of a cup at once because that's the serving or whatever and it's plenty so this will be like eight desserts it's amazing it's really really good so love that the oreo kind is my favorite also got some Nichols honey buns. I love the honey buns. I last week got the Kroger honey buns, which were on a good sale. And of course, my store only had one package and it was all beat up. I didn't just want to go back to the regular buns that didn't have a little bit of honey in them. They're delicious this way. So I got the Nichols, $2.28 for $12. Got another thing of the sliced French bread for a buck. That's an amazing deal because Kroger's like $1.50 and Respects is like $2.99. So Great price at Walmart. Also got the Great Value Mini Marshmallows, 96 cents. These are a good little snack. Also the um, Great Value Thin Pretzels. You can have 96 of these for like 120 calories or something like that. It's 110 calories. So really a great low calorie snack. Also got some of the Organic Cheese, 237. Really good price because Kroger's Organic Cheese is like over three bucks. So that was an excellent deal. We got two of the great tomatoes for $2.50. Got, I think, a pancake mix for tonight's dinner. That was $2.10. I wanted the extra light kind. Um, and so, great value. Didn't have that. So, I got Hungry Jack. Got some fat-free evaporated milk for that chicken gnocchi soup. And I got some Hershey's dark chocolates. You can get 12 bars. It's $1.96. Dark chocolate's fairly healthy. So, I thought if I was going to have chocolate, I should probably go with dark since it's a little healthier. So Walmart, all of these things were $23 and 10, no, that can't be right. Sorry, that's not right. Okay, sorry, didn't write down the exact total for Walmart. It was around 30-ish dollars. So I do have the overall total though. So about 30-ish bucks at Walmart. Then I went over to Respects, which is my local grocery store. They do have stores throughout Southeast Ohio and Wheeling, West Virginia. So if you're in that area, definitely give Respects a check. Um, they've got some good deals and they have a really nice selection. So not everything there is good. Like if I went and bought everything, I'd pay a lot more, but doing the deals is really nice. So they're the only ones around me that sells orange and strawberry Zevia, which I love. And it's been on sale for a long time for $4.49. Um, and so totally picked up two of those today. Love that. Um, I got two of the Hillendale Farms cage-free eggs for $1.59. That was a good price. We like the cage-free eggs. Um, I usually get the Simple Truth, but I think these are pretty much the same thing. So went ahead and got those. Also got the Girosa Potato Noki Noodles. This is a really good deal, actually. At Kroger, they're like $2.99. But here they were $1.99 for this brand. So yeah, totally picking that up. I was going to get six of these, actually, but they didn't have six. They only had two in stock. The best choice, Chunk Light Tuna and Water. My dad loves tuna and water. $0.59 cents a can, which is an awesome, awesome price. So I'm sad I didn't have more. Um, I always get dill dip every week at Respects. This was $2.28. Goes good with that French bread. My grandma likes to make goulash, and we don't have any elbow macaroni. We have a million thousand regular spaghetti noodles, but not elbows. So I picked this up. They were on sale this week for $0.79. Cents. Then I grabbed three of the half gallons of United Dairy Milk for a dollar. It was three for four. So that was a really good deal for the name brand milk. So I was happy with that. So everything this week came to a grand total of $104.10. I don't think that's bad at all. I believe retail was like 170, 175, something like that. So not a huge, I mean, that's a pretty substantial savings, like $70. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. But, um, you know, I'm thrilled. This is how, and I honestly, if you look in the long run, I definitely saved more than the percentage saved. In some cases, the store brand was cheaper. In some cases, you know, this other store was cheaper. So if I actually took what all these things would have cost at just one store and compare it to what I paid, I'm sure it would have been a huge difference. So I'm really happy with this. So yeah, guys, that's all that I got for this week's grocery haul. I hope you did enjoy and thank you so, so much for watching.